monkey here today. First video of 2020, so welcome to 2020, everybody. I'm not out hiking today, don't have much time for that. What I am gonna work on today is a, a retrofit, my old NFED antenna up here on the roof. I ordered some new wire and new insulators for it. So I'm gonna be crawling around up there and get that reset. The, my old uh, antenna, the, it's been up here for about two years and the sun is pretty much eaten away at the the outer wire cover there so ordered some from dx engineering let's go check that out so i got a 150 foot wire uh 14 gauge insulated from dx engineering and it should be better than the old stuff that i previously had gotten from the big box stores cheap wire it's been up there i mean it works but it's kind of disintegrating in the sun and I ordered me four of these insulators so I can do some more antenna projects. The current insulator I have is just a piece of, uh, of PVC that I cut and drilled. I'll show you that here in a second. So what else have I got here? I've got some bailing wire and some connectors to help with the cutting off the antenna and attaching it up to the old 9 to 1 on and up there. So good deal. Let's check out the old installation. So here's the end of my wire antenna here up on this painter's pole. Got some urban camo going on there. And the wire, get it to focus, goes up through this old desert willow tree here. It goes up, connects to my two meter antenna mast there. And snakes along the top of the roof to the feed point, which is right back there. So that whole piece of wire I'm gonna replace. It's just been eaten up by the sun. And I might try to get this wire up a little bit higher in that tree. And that way I don't have to come down to the, the old painter's pole here and it'll be a little more camo. The whole point of this antenna is to give me you know, the odd bands that my vertical back in there doesn't cover. So I use it for things like 30 meters and 80 meters and 60 meters. And it's still gotta be kinda hidden from the street to protect me from the good old HOA, Homeowners Association. So no matter what I do, when I get finished installing this, it still needs to be stealthy. All right, let's get up on the roof and get that old antenna down on the roof here at the old QT8. One important safety briefing when you're up on the roof, make sure you don't fall off. That tends to suck. Anyhow, <laughs> I'm up here at the feed point of the NVED wire. Just coax right in here. Got it connected to that vent via some bailing wire. It's a little ghetto, I know, but it does work. Uh, so we'll just be just taking this wire off here, replacing the whole stretch down the line. You can see this wire used to be black, but the sun has just, just destroyed it. I'd be curious to see if the uh, DX engineering wire lasts any better up here. See my feed point going back down the roof, and it goes down along the side of the house to my ground rod over by the, where the radio is. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this wire. We'll take it down and measure it out. I think it's about 84 feet long, as I recall. We'll put the new wire in. All right, I've got the old antenna down. See my homemade ghetto insulator there? It's ugly <coughs> more than anything. It's worked pretty good, but yeah, just a little hard to look at. And then you can see how this PVC coating is just disintegrated here from the, being up on the roof for two years. So, anyhow, let's get the new the new wire out and measure it up. And now, halfway through my antenna install, my daughter decides she wants lunch. Ramen noodle break. We are done with the ramen, and we're back to antenna. I have got the insulator put on the end here, and I just did a little bailing wire to connect it there and make it look a little bit nicer. Might end up 
spray painting this with some brown just to put some urban camo on there make it a little less conspicuous when I put it up in the tree or back on that pole we'll see how it goes this is a hundred and 50 feet of wire, which is way more than I'll need. I'll keep the rest for a dipole project or something I'm working on. I'm gonna go ahead and measure this out and get it ready to put it back up on the uh, feed point up there. And of course, because it's me, I immediately found a way to get this wire tangled up. That's okay, I'll get it eventually. One thing I've noticed compared to the, the wire you get at Home Depot or Lowe's, like this stuff, Eventually this is straightened out over time because it's several years old, but if you get it new and you try to pull it off one of those spools they give you, it's just all kinked up and it stays kinked up for about a month after you put it up. This is much more pliant wire and uh, as soon as I get it untangled, I'll put it up. Well, Finally got it untangled and got my connector crimped on there and laid it out alongside the old wire so get the right length. I got the old wire spooled up on this guy here to prevent any more uh, unpleasant tangles. One thing I didn't show earlier is my old feed line sneaking along the house here and it goes right up to my feed point up on the other side of the roof. Oh. Feed this wire back through my existing connections here. The ham radio tool's best friend, the zip tie. Already got it going over there. Let's take the slack out. Got it all connected back to the feed point here. Strung along the length of the roof. I know what you're thinking. How's that antenna ever gonna work? So low to the roof like that. I well, remember the point here is hiding it from sight. The HOA says I can have an antenna as long as it's not visible from the street. And the street is right there. So from the front of the house, this antenna is all but invisible. It's not as good as if I had it 40 feet in the air, obviously. But it does the job, especially for CW on like 30 meters. All right, my last step is to get the other end of it mounted. Hopefully maybe up in that tree a little bit. We might have to get creative there. All right, I've got it all connected here. Put it on the end of that painter's pole. So this camera's focus is going berserk. The wire going up through the tree. I'll have to go back through and put some rings to keep it from, that tree from scraping the wire. And the wire goes back up to the roof right over there. So I'm gonna take it inside and we'll put it on the uh, our antenna analyzer and we'll do a little whisper testing and see how we've done. All right, we're all back inside here at the old ham station. And this is the end fed wire. And like I say, it's for, mainly I use this antenna for things that my Hustler 4B TV won't cover. So the Hustler covers 10 meters, 15 meters, kinda, 17 meters, 20 meters, and 40. So mainly these days I use my NVID for 30 and 80. But in theory, when the cycle peaks up again, I could do fun bands like 12 meters. So let's check that. So according to my 8090 chart, 24, Let's see, where is it? So that's 1.5 to one. So that's looking pretty promising. Uh, let's try 15 meters, which is what, 21.2. That's um, 1.4 to one, so that's cool. Let's try 17. 18.11, so it would be pretty good for 17 meters as well. And, all right, let's try 20, just for grins. This is not quite so great for 20 meters, but I have this going into a tuner anyway, so two, 
two to one SWR is not awful once I go into a tuner. All right, so now let's go into the lower range. Let's go to 30. That's mainly where I'm gonna want this sucker to be running. Look, that's 1.4 to 1. That's awesome. I'll do whisper testing on that here in a bit. And just for fun, let's try 80 meters. So for most of the usable range, it's about two to one, looks like. Let's go down to like the digital CW. It gets a little bit higher, but 2.1, 2.0 to one. You know what, for digital and CW, I think that'll work. Fine business, I think we're in pretty good shape. Well, we're transmitting now. Doing whisper, see the SWR is looking good. We'll check the map here and just a bit and see how, see who heard us. Uh, here you go. Here's the results from a Whisper after just one transmission. And it looks like I'm being heard all over the country. So I'd say our antenna is successful. So fine business there. We'll try it out tonight with some CW, but I think it'll work. I think it's successful and uh, I'll be using this antenna going forward see how well it does with CW and SSB for that matter on 80 meters 30 meters heck maybe even 60 meters I haven't tried that one yet so thanks for joining me everybody this is Greg Tech Gear Junkie hopefully we'll get out soon do some hiking around looks like the weather's starting to warm up again so until then we'll catch you next time thanks for watching